All the way from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, back to my left, introduce yourself. Straight to it. No time to waste. Fuck you. Right away. <laughs> Fuck you, your gecko eyes and I'm about to start crying face. <laughs> Fuck you, your whiny Siamese cat dying, mommy, my knees scrape, Lord, why me, help, please untie me, I scream with the dry heaves at a high, at a high C, five weeks straight, I need bass voice. Fuck you. I said, fuck you, your whiny, hear me? Siamese cat dying, mommy, my knees scrape, Lord, why me, help, please untie me, I scream with the dry heaves at a high C, five weeks straight, I need bass voice, fuck you. A woman's fingers jammed in a car door, other hand in a lawnmower, Iggy Azalea on tour, nails on a chalkboard, a foghorn, hardcore dog porn. Just a list of things I like hearing a lot more. Fuck you. You said in the world I'm number 64, then tell them, why the fuck you pick me for? Well, you never thought I'd catch on to it? He set up all of this, it's in England, that's why he picked me over shoddy, it's obvious, battle of the brave. Tuh. More like a coward who's afraid, respect the shoddy. But I already bodied him, now you just dug a hole for yourself for me to dump your body and body on top of body, I'm on some giant Gonzalez shit. Oh. Hey, what, man? Oh. Hey, 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 check it out, hey. Man, what you gonna do? Give me some business tips and educate me like you did with Clips, like all you have is Clips TV. Like he got bigger fish. Dropping all that knowledge, I had to go and look into it. And dude might actually be onto something. He got, he's on some different shit. Innovative genius, he did his research for real. He got a website now and t-shirts for sale. You got hoodies too, bro? Look at you go. <laughs> You got hoodies too, bro? Look at you go. Whoa. Don't forget us little guys when you blow. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Yo, you got loyalty over money custom made pens? <laughs> Shit, they ought to give you a chair on Dragon's Den. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> hey. It's an inventor show. He's like, God, I'm an innovator. Fuck a job or a business major. <laughs> Mom calls him a minute later like, <clears throat> why is there an intercom in my generator? <laughs> hey, I gotta ask you a question, my brother. From one entrepreneur to another, how did you come up with making shirts in different colors? <laughs> like, just to be a fly on the wall, what next is he gonna discover? He'll watch a porn like, this guy ain't even a real plumber. <laughs> hey. Hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. But wait, man, what you know about business ethics? And listen, it's about to get interesting. And I'll run it back in case it gets intercepted and you didn't catch it. You sold Drake the starter, or you gave Drake the starter from the bottom beat. Your boy Mike Zombie made it, but you're the one who shopped it. See, now that's where royalties and publishing occurs. Stuff just to ensure you get the cut that you deserve, but Mr. Businessman here ain't get nothing in return. His boy Zombie got cha-ching and fucking chucked him to the curb. This motherfucking nerve. He was talking about my 10 grand. Hey, talk about my 10 grand. Talk about, my, talk about, he's right here? He's right here. Talk about my 10, what? He's right here? He's right there? Cool, well off the head, man. He's just creeping up to you like some type of obsessed fan. He's right the fuck there? This dude's still your friend? Damn, if that was me, Zombie would be a walking dead man.
This is a death match, no submission. Forrest Griffin versus Otis Nixon. <laughs> Ice. <laughs> Blast a motherfucker for a bucket of boneless chicken. <laughs> Spiced. Spiced. <laughs> for that suicide sauce, he'll go to prison for life. When waitresses bring him teriyaki, he kills them. Nice. <laughs> Yo, he's that old man in the hood who always got a fucking story to tell. <laughs> Boring as hell. <laughs> yeah, I used to drink 40s in jail. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm like an animal. I was actually born with a tail. <laughs> yo, yo, you think you got it bad? My bed's a wooden board with nails. He says him and all, he says him and all the murderers had a mutual respect in jail. They used to play musical electric chairs. <laughs> but to cross the border, you can't have a scratch on your record. So if all your stories are true, I gotta ask you a question. If you was a felon, I'd like to know how you got yourself here. Oh, you must have jumped in one of your big ass guns and just fucking shot yourself here. <laughs> I mean, it's just weird. He gets charged with a felon, but his record is crystal clear. It's like he slipped and dropped in quicksand. He fell and he disappeared. <laughs> Look, Ice is the biggest snitch in the game. If he gets caught, the whole block gets arrested. Not even stressing, they'll have the charges against him dropped in a second. This man got caught with possession, assault with a weapon, shot a detective, Officer Jenkins. <laughs> Stomped him to death, chopped off his head, left his body in segments. Walked into court, calm and collected, said I taught him a lesson. <laughs> the judge asked if he at least brought a defendant. He said, no, absolutely not, Your Honor, I meant it. <laughs> in fact, he didn't call him Your Honor, he called him a faggot. <laughs> Judge caught him in bed with his wife and asked him if he wanted some breakfast. <laughs> they play WWF music in court when he walks through the entrance. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I don't. <laughs> Idiot. But I'm sure in your other little world right now, you're the main event and just killing it. <laughs> Boy, you in your bag over there right now. Room shaking from what you just said. Yeah! The crowd's surfing you and throwing Gatorade over your head. <laughs> Who are you there? What are you, 25? Jock? Six, six, full head of hair. Bet you're just shredded there, huh? Holes all on you, can't go anywhere. Fuck you. Your imaginary world and the nerds you're friends with. All I see in your circle sphere, I'll send you to a third dimension. I heard you said that you talked to Eric B. You talked to Eric B? That must have been cool. It's always nice catching up with buddies from school. You are the oldest battle rapper. You are the oldest battle rapper. But that's what I love about you. You're one of them crouching, sideways hats, underground dudes. And you know what's my favorite? How you just refuse to let go of baggy jeans. You old school, call your opponents whack MCs. I fucking love it. I see your album got some features, the track just leaks. Don't get me wrong, your verse was hot. Mac 10, beasts. Your boy Cecil on the beat. <laughs> hey, let's switch it up. Like I said, he had some twerk punches left, right? Well, my punch is left, right, get left, right where you stand and wake up the next night. I just might skin this fake pussy till this flesh light. Rip off his tenants like up in the rent price. Don't make me get white. See, back when... <laughs> See,
See, back when you used to babysit, had ice, you was dead nice, but this... <laughs> I'm gonna just freestyle some shit because I'm having fun with that one. Danny Myers, former coach of Harold Minor. <laughs> Boys was tight. We used to share a visor. Yo, <laughs> yo, I seen you get mad hype. Seen you versus Swave Seva, biting my nails as I was watching. Like one of these dudes could die any second. <laughs> of natural causes. I love you, Swave. Heard you was battling T-Rex, and I said, now that will be awesome, because they're both from the same era. Turns out they meant the rapper from Harlem. <laughs> you talk about my kid, bro. You talk about my daughter. Let him know. We could have did this battle a while before, but you can't cross the border because you don't pay your child support. Is that it? Am I lying? It's cool. Poor kids. Don't know when they're going to eat next. Because daddy robbed all their piggy banks and gave it to T-Rex. Arsenal, Arsenal. <laughs> Ain't a damn man as dark as you. <laughs> you only beat disaster because when them lights went out, no one knew who the fuck he was talking to. <laughs> no. Christ, he could bust off his heat like fuck the police, because if it's Darko, Arsenal's up in a tree. Cops won't find him for shit. Unless he crumples some leaves and they crack a funny ass joke and he shows a couple of teeth. <laughs> wait, wait. Don't get it fucked up. I'm just dissing his physical features. This slithering, primitive creature is so thin he could swim in this t-shirt. <laughs> My girl goes to the beauty salon and asks for a pedicure. Arsenal goes to the beauty salon and asks for the predator. <laughs> Yo, listen. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on, come on, come on, look. He's a school bus driver. Like, how can you take him seriously, y'all? It's not a joke, that's his actual career, it's his job. He probably drove the school bus here with his dog singing 99 bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> you ain't busting your tool, bitch, you busting to school. Screaming at little kids that keep fucking with you and chucking up food. Threatening to cancel the field trip, pulling over on the side of the road like, I can turn this bus around and we can just all go home. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait. Just had to clown him right quick, but let me put it down like this. I'm Pat State, Canada's champ. I'm downright slick. Moonwalk on water with bricks tied around my kicks. I am the shit. Shake the world when I pound my fist. Fuck Arsenal the rebel. You dancing in the darkness with the devil. Mind power sharp enough to sever. My heart's leather make you step back like car alarm sensors. You wouldn't spark metal if you were an arc welder. And no matter what happens after this battle, who act like he had it in the palm of his hand? But he swears switched it to promo a minute ago because if he lost, he'd call it a scam. You need to grow some motherfucking balls and stop being scared, haul up your pants, and learn to take a fucking loss like a man. <laughs> so organic hit up my phone like, yo, what do you think about you versus Calico, Pat? I'm joking. I fucking hate when people start off their battle like that. <laughs> hey, straight off the rip. Let me make this clear. You don't threaten me at all, dude. I don't give a fuck if you come from the D. Technically, we all do. See, my senses are strong and your energy speaks volumes. I watch you from the way that you walk to the costume he puts on when you talk to him, every chance he can get. He constantly has to stress how he's more real than them. It's a force field effect. When you feel a threat amongst you and get into defense and feel the need to start listing connects and telling war stories to get the respect. I know your type. Show off for the boys, call your girl a hoe. 
Then when you and your girl alone, I'm sorry, you know I love you, my little turtle toes. <laughs> right? Want me tickle you? Want me tickle you back, my little love bug? Yo, Calico! <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Suck my dick and shut the fuck up. <laughs> but see me, I have no front. And I don't need to drop names to raise mine, I have no crutch. You push weight with the same set your dad throws up, but got no rep without him spotting you. Yeah, rack those up. Push yeah. Yeah. Back on up. I pack those punches that'll make your chest and backbone touch. Collapse both lungs, attack mode. Cut you in half with the exacto gut like a mackerel and just pick through them like an afro puff. If you was a real dude, you wouldn't have to act so tough. If you really trapped so much, you wouldn't open your trap so much. <laughs> Much, you wouldn't open your trap so much. If you was a G, you wouldn't dry snitch on your old man so much. And if he was a G, he'd tell you to keep your damn mouth shut. It's a problem with hustlers nowadays, they brag so much. They get stuck. Too many snakes in the lawn, the grass won't cut. Your father tested the waters and look how that boat sunk. And you can't, wow. and you can't absorb game with a flat old sponge. Let that soak up. Wow. Oh, so I know you ain't making no real money. It's like you always got to remind us. You just put it all out there like Bonnie Godiva and her sloppy, soggy vagina. <laughs> Every, look. You always saying I'm the realest. Are you? I don't believe for a second. Because if you were, you wouldn't have to feel the need to address it. Your definition of real is intimidating the weak and defenseless, but there's a difference between being feared and being respected. See, I'm a stand-up loyal dude, and to the streets, I'm a legend. The same hand that I'll reach out to help, I'll beat you to death with. <laughs> yeah. So fuck a dose, I'm a lethal injection and the needle's infected. So if math tests or even questions me, I'll teach them a lesson. <laughs> That tough guy acts a scream for attention. Maintaining it must be hell. You think Canadians are soft because we're nice, but y'all are just scared to leave your shells. Oof. See, that New York permanent tough guy act to me is just a scream for help. Because you fucking Americans are stuck in this character and can't even be yourself. <laughs> gonna put on that tough mood. God, that must bug you. His mom's be like, love you. He'd be like, whatever, fuck you. <laughs> Yo! I love my mom. He's an insecure little bitch. Soft. Emo. Wears a hat every battle because he's bald. Chemo. <laughs> hey, hey, Matt, you? Ah, ready? <laughs> Matt Hopper. Hairline like your grandpapa. <laughs> no, no. Matt Hopper. Hairline like your grandpapa. He'll snap on you if you try to snatch his hat off. <laughs> Male pattern baldness. Ain't that some dog shit? <laughs> Look up Math Hoffa Six Battles if you have his size. He won't even take off his hat when he stands up for the national anthem. <laughs> but you're gonna put one against the chest so he carries a spare one. <laughs> Yo! What kind of shit is that? He goes swimming in his fitted hat. Hey, he'll give you daps, but he'll never ever tip his cat. I know you hate that shit. Bald is beautiful, Matthew. Embrace that shit. Hey, real shit though. And the way you beg for murder mook's attention so sad, it's disgusting. It's like you're obsessed with it. 
do you want to battle or fuck him? <laughs> and ever since Calico punked him, his verses just don't have any substance because his career was built off being a bully and math never done shit. That's what acting so tough gets. You could have amounted to something. Every battle you've done since has been counterproductive. You went from the highest paid battler to rapping for practically nothing. You turned your road to success into a path of destruction. Now your whole, now your whole world's caving in. Bang, now you're baby sick. Karma swinging back to slinging crack to that pregnant bitch. Dose gets his way with him. Chrome to his cranium. Click, click, boom, turns his dome to a stadium. I'll power bomb the shit out of you. Like, you really think that I'm scared? You got me twisted like all them little poodle shits in your hair. I ain't got one person here with me. But look at me, dog. seriously. If I kill you right now when the cops come, they'll just think I'm security. <laughs> Yo, you told Bonnie. <laughs> oh. You told Bonnie, is my mic going good? All right. You told Bonnie where you're from, when girls talk shit, you wire their jaws. Mm. <laughs> Breaking girls' jobs. This guy is a boss. I was just in Europe, right? And he swung at me when I said I was abroad. Man, yo. yo man, yo, I bet you foul the shit out your girl when y'all play ball. Hey. Hey, she goes up for the cute little layup. Get the fuck out my house! Hey! Go! The girls keep on laughing at him, you won't get punched in the mouth. Keep it up. They'll take you outside and beat you up. Hey! Because ever since that dude chased him in that parking lot, he's been having an awful hard time finding parking spots. Hey, 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 because he won't go near one again. He'll park his shit down the father's block. He go on the father's walks. Boy, calf muscles, hard as rocks. Hey, wait! Hey, he said since he had a cast on where he's from, him chasing you was a sign of respect. I don't know, Chaz. I don't think you need that kind of respect. Now that I think of it, all of your war stories about you getting punked. Shit, you must be the most respected dude where you're from. But check it out, fuck it, the jokes. I said, I always wonder why the gay jokes make you so weird and defensive, dude. Till I heard that song you made about the time your babysitter molested you. And I'm not even trying to be funny. That's some real shit. He said, to every girl who blew you before the age of 30, I didn't feel shit. That's cold, dog. Them blowjobs must have taken so long. <laughs> Jobs must have taken so long. Superhead could be spazzing, he'd just be sitting there like a robot. But that's where the gay shit comes in. Cause see, every time he would go soft, it would make him question himself, which psychologically alters it. Wait, you mean to tell me when a girl be sucking you off and cup the bag, that that wouldn't be doing shit for you? <laughs> Fucking fag. <laughs> oh man, poor guy. I can't imagine, bro. Your babysitter sucked your dick? What? <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Woo!
It's not funny, guys, seriously. <laughs> when he was in high school, he was gang raped by the entire cheerleading team. <laughs> Babysitter makes his lunch for him, cuts the corners off of his sandwiches, fucking sucks his cock, sends him off to school. Woo! And this is the thing she gets. <laughs> you acting like a little bitch right now. <laughs> All right, let me switch it up. I said, I see a verb, cut his throat like a clean razor, like a cheap razor. I keep a sharp instrument on me like Green Ranger. <laughs> me and my home. <laughs> me, hey, me, me, and my home, me, and my, me and my homies jumped and me phoned the police later. He hit me with a gang assault like an overly sweet neighbor. Stay songs, your bitch got my dick on her screensaver. Stay songs, your bitch got my dick as her screensaver. She be giving me brains looking like she bumping a mean banger. <laughs> she, bl she blew him right after me, and he busted a week later. <laughs> you ain't fucking with me, a verb. But you know what? There is a little bit of truth behind some of the shit disaster's been saying. I have lost my love for this shit, because now it's just oversaturated and fabricated. They ask you to make a blog before the battle to make the match entertain and then act like you hate them, then after the battle, we're laughing and hanging. See, that's what I'm saying. It's whack. I hate it. Thank you. You know, from the microphones to the battles on stages, so now everyone can rap about guns now as long as the line's half creative. And this social media shit makes these battle rappers act like they're famous, man, I don't know. I guess I'm just having trouble trying to adapt to the changes. I use Instagram maybe once in my life, never really use Twitter much. You tell me how many views you have, I'll probably tell you I don't give a fuck. I don't even, look, look, I don't even, look, I don't even watch battles these days, I lost the interest. It used to make me feel like I had the globe in my palm, just spinning it on my index, but shit changes, doesn't it? Maybe I'm bugging. One day I love it, next day I'm saying fuck it till I step on stage, see the fans, that crazy rush hits, and a little voice in my head whispers, hey, you got this. <laughs> No, see, I don't do this for the chain diz, I do it for these guys. I do it for my fans who knew I was losing my passion but stayed by my side. I do this shit for the dude who wrote me and said my song about alcoholism saved his life because just to know his role model survived the same struggle helped push him and gave him drive. I do this shit, wait, I do this shit for the kid with cancer I used to talk to on the phone. Any day he could have died, but he said the they said the laughter and excitement he got from my battles and talking to me every day just made him feel alive, man. I'll never forget the day he called me and told me his doc said he's been getting better and his tumor had shrank in size. Then his mom's told me that she believes me being there for him helped him and she thanked me crying. Now that's what, what the fuck I do this for. <laughs> That's what the fuck I do this for, dog. You just crave the attention. You're like a little college girl. Congrats on your 70,000 Twitter followers, Mr. Popular. Who gives a fuck? Who would you be if it wasn't for this? Ask yourself. And you wouldn't even be who you are if it wasn't for mommy and daddy's help. You see, anyone could have been you, Diz. Just had to follow the manuscript. Stress-free, rent-free, never had to pay a goddamn bill in his life because his family's rich. So while we were all busting our asses to pay the bills, you know, being a grown man and shit, he had all those years of free time to write rhymes and practice his battle skills in his family's crib. You see, anyone here could have been you, Diz, with the funds and proper management. So many opportunities the average man would just never have a chance to get. Like, for example, his battle with cannabis. Costed a fortune, how did he manage it? Organic couldn't come up with all of the funds, so Diz got his daddy to handle it. Bullshit. <laughs> See, any, any, no. any, any one of us could have been you, Diz. Any one of us could have been you, Diz. But none of us had these advantages. I mean, come on, you were practically handed it. You just took the pass and he ran with it. But I would never want to be you, Diz. Because if this whole thing magically vanishes, at least I can say that I actually landed this shit on my own and go out as a champion and wasn't handed shit. <laughs> Hey, wait. Look. Look, he mad right now. 
Hey, gonna wire some Western Union from his dad right now. <laughs> Heads up, he's about to throw another beer in the crowd right now. <laughs> and he was calling me a paper boy. I just gotta laugh right now, because they're writing his obituary right now in the back right now. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> hey, to end this battle off, you're right. This title don't really matter to me, bro. If I lose tonight, I'll just get my freedom back and my album on the go. Battle who I want, when I want, travel in the globe, and you'll be practicing at home for your battle with Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Yo, that was funny. yo. I almost planned to let him win. You were just my sacrificial goat. I was gonna fuck up on purpose and just act as if I choked. But I just couldn't let my people down because the fans is all I know. Hey, yo, kid it up! <laughs> Your champion is home!